Welcome. Namaste. Today's peak pose is Galabhasana. And we're going to start with Uttiyana Bandha practice and breath of fire or Vasrika. Okay, so let's take a few moments just standing. Open the hips. Why am I talking? Okay, let's do it with talking. Okay, come to stand. Stretch up nice and tall. Take a moment in Tadasana. Hips are open. Coccyx down. Ribs relax. Belly lifted. Thighs back. Feet rooted. Big toes. Little toes. Chin back. Chest open. And breathe. Imagine you're breathing through your whole body. Breathing powerfully through your whole body. Focus your attention. Bring your awareness back to your body, to your feet, to your hands. To your heart. Deep breath in, stretch your arms up to the sky. Exhale, stretch Uttanasana, fold forward, relax. Shoulders back to the waist. And lift from your belly, press with your feet, come stand. And standing in this crouch position, when you do the breath of fire, the tummy is nice and relaxed and bouncing with every exhalation. Pull it in. And with every, um, with the Udiya Labanda, you breathe out. Empty, empty. Pull the navel in and up. And you practice to lift Udiya Labanda. This will work for Galavasana because we are learning to lift the hip bones, lift the tummy and extend and lengthen the spine. Hands are on the knees or on the thighs. Relax the shoulders. Go for half a minute, breath of fire. And you can't hold the breath any longer, relax the belly, breathe in. Let's take a break. Second set, we're doing three sets. Inhale, half a breath out, pump the belly. Inhale deeply, empty lungs, more empty, navel in and up, and 
Release the belly, breathe in. Take a break. No more breath in and out. And we do last one. Take a breath. Half breath out. Pump belly. Deep breath in, empty. Navel up. Release, take a breath, and relax. Take your feet hip width apart. Lift the hip bones, relax, do as deep as you can, bend in the knees. Exhale into squat, into malasana with the feet apart. And if you need to, you put something underneath your heels so that you can keep pressing down through the heels. One arm in front, press and stretch. Hug the tummy, lengthen, breathe. Other arm, stretch forward. Lengthen the spine, shoulder blades on your back, reach and pull, pull up to the sky. Coming back, this time, oh, let's do Uttanasana, place your hands, lift up in the belly. Hold forward, take a break, shoulders back. Lift your belly and come sitting in squat again. This time, same position, just binding. So if it's possible, take the arm to there. It starts to roll the thumb down. Arm is still up, stretch out, make it long. Reach the arms around. See if we can bind, breathe. Lifting in the belly, make space, the arm forward, drop the shoulder and twist around, make the arms long, reach, reach the sides of your body, breathe. Slowly come back, sit down and we can roll down. Hike the hip bones up, ribs back, shoulders relax, and turn back, roll down. Into Supta Pigeon, place the ankle on the knee, and hold the thigh, gently pull the leg towards you, breathe. Place your front leg down into the floor. Take this leg into your, you can hold the ankle if you like. Otherwise, put the foot into the elbows and pull as close to you as you can. Breathe. Slowly straighten out the bottom leg. Stretch it as much as you can. Don't hurt the knee. Give it some slack if you need to. Breathe. Place the ankle back behind the knee, behind the ankle. 
this time, instead of pulling towards you, keep it towards you and push away. Ribs down, shoulders back, pull towards you, push away. 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 Now you'll notice that if we can hold that with stomach muscles, stretch your arms, and there's your galabas in the position. This foot, you're going to have more pressure when you're standing to get that foot closer around the shoulder. That's Galavasana. Then this leg lifts and goes out. Okay, it's a good practice. Let's do hold the ankle leg in place. Stretch out without losing your stomach. Open the leg. Hold one, two, three. Breathe four. Five, and relax. Good. Change to the other side, ankle on the knee. First, the simple stretch, hold the thigh, relax shoulders, breathe in, flex the feet, breathe out. Bring the leg towards you. Place the leg down onto the floor, hold the other leg either around the leg or in your elbows. Breathe. Slowly straighten out the bottom leg. Breathe. Deep one. Two, three, four, five, and let's come back, uh, ankle on the knee, feel that position, stretch out the toes, hook around the arm, arm stretches out. And then that should be the position to go. And you'll notice how when we do it, yeah, the foot likes to slip, and that's exactly what happens when you stand there. So we hold it for now. Try and find your stomach muscles and slowly stretch. And hold one, two. So we need to keep the hip square when we're standing on our on the one foot. Keep both hips the same even though you're standing on one leg. Four, five, and relax. Get a hold, the shin again, other thigh, bring the leg in, take breath in. Breathe out, stretch, and push away. So there is practicing the strength. Exhale, pull, exhale, push. Exhale, pull, inhale, push. So pull, inhale, push. Then I do it the wrong way around. So oops, that's where. Now you hold the stomach. Then we are in the last position. Okay, so the other one, that's a nice mistake to learn how you really are engaged in the stomach, relaxed in the shoulders, and holding the stomach. The more open you get the leg, the more secure you are from your core. Good, hug the legs to chest for a moment. Rock a little bit left to right. And make circles. One way, other way. Rock and roll, and if you can, you come all the way to stand. Nice variation is to come with one leg bent underneath and standing on the one leg, otherwise two legs, come stand. And we do our salute to the sun. Plain and simple, Surya Namaskar. Soften the body, root the feet, 
Let the body go to where it wants to go. Stop the controlling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Right leg back. Exhale. Knees to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Right leg. Exhale, left, hold forward, inhale, back arch, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, left, inhale, right, exhale, down, inhale, lift, Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, right. Lower down. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Now with some variation. Inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, half Uttanasana. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down, down. Some core planks. Raise right leg up. Lift the belly. Pull the knee up into the chest. Knee to the arm. Let's hold one, two, three, four, five. Send it back. Bring it forward again, inhale, step it out to the side, press, stretch your arm if you like, one, two, three, four, five. Back to three-legged duck, and into pigeon, right knee to the right wrist. So sometimes you find this heel touches this hip. Sometimes the heel's going further forward and you can even beat to the hand. Um, point the toe if it's quite close as you start venturing towards there. It's more flexed foot. Stretch forward and down. Slowly up, and let's repeat that all on the other side. Back to down dog. Stretch out the back of the legs, enjoy the stretch. Even if you need to bend the knees a little bit. Okay. Left leg to the sky. Inhale, exhale, core plank, knee. Think of the thigh coming to the chest, knee coming to the armpit. Hold one, two, three, four, Five, send it back up. Bring it through for the falling triangle to the side. Step it out. Press. One, two, three, four, five. Back up. Into pigeon. Knee to the wrist. Come resting. Forward and down. Finish the salute on the right side, down dog. Right leg forward, join the left, flow down, inhale, put the chest, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift, half into us and exhale, left leg, right. Knees to chest or to Durango. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg up into the sky. 
and knee to the left armpit. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Swing to Vasastasana. Knee can go onto the foot under the knee or foot into the hand. One, two, three, four, five. And step it forward. Lunge. One, two, three, four, five. On the other side, step back, down back. Left leg up into the sky. Bend the knee into the right arm. One, two, three, four, five. Swivel, take it onto the knee, into the pose of uh, tree balance. Otherwise, grab the toe and stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Down dog, step it forward, left leg, join the right, flow down. Inhale. Exhale. Just do another stretch forward. Lift the tummy. Open the back. Shoulders down. Stretch your back. Feel the legs pushing to make space between tummy and thighs. So I'm not really trying to do a forward stretch. I'm doing a forward hang, lifting from the strength and on the strength of my legs. Okay. And now we do standing pigeon. Take your right leg, I'll be your mirror. So again, we can choose to hold the ankle. You may want to be bent on the bottom leg. If you can go deeper, put it in your elbows. And we hold. Stretch and breathe. One, two, three, four. Keep working on the bottom leg. Five. On the next one, you can really work on the bottom leg. Bend both legs. Take the opposite arm, your left elbow, hook it or hold it. Once you've got that, keep the balance in the core and twist. One, two, three. Four, five, ankle on the knee, stretch out, lengthen as far out of your pose as you can, reach, try to touch the floor in front, one, two, three, four, five, come stand, other side. So you could hold the ankle, bend the knee if you need to. Otherwise, get into your elbow. And next. Don't worry, next week we put this foot behind your head. Two, three, four, five. You can bend the bottom leg. If you, yeah, I like to do that. Keep it stable from the core. Opposite elbow. Press, the knee presses against the elbow, elbow against the knee. One, two, three, four, five. Ankle on the knee. Breathe in. Stretch forward. And when you're ready, go and lengthen as far forward as you can. One, two, Three, four, five. Coming up and relax. Stay past. Stretch. I think we've got a lunge on the other leg. Inhale. Exhale. So it must be left leg going back, knee down, and stretch up. Hold. One, two, three, four. Five. Good. 
to throw them. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Hold and relax, breathe. Push into the hands. Deep breath. And step to your hands. We are ready for the Galavasana. When I first did it, um, the trick was to push the sh this leg away on the arm so you're getting a push and then that will help to engage the core. Once you've got the core engaged, lengthen like Uriana Banda. So you want, what happens with that, it could get very tight. So what I would suggest is get that, but try and feel Mula Banda lifting up, but not tightening the hips because of course now we're trying to lift the leg up. So it's great for getting the leg up, but then once we want to straighten out the back, back leg, the hips are too tight. And, and again, also practice, keep getting used to getting more weight over onto the arms, and that takes some practice. It strengthens the arms, strengthening, and the hands. And so be gentle and just enjoy it. Okay, so right leg first, we ankle on the knee. Deep breath in reach and then lengthen get as far forward as you can so if you can't touch the floor you're always welcome you can put two bricks down and you can try it there okay we want to get as much leg as we can into the armpits so that you nice and small into a nice strong strength in your belly soften the neck lift shift the weight and lifting in the tummy lifting in the shoulders once you're there and you can stretch it out. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So all the work we did, if you keep repeating that, that's where the strength lies, and that will bring your weight over. Keep practicing. Keep breathing. Other side. Breathe in. Stretch nice and long. Hook the foot around, broaden in the neck and shoulders, lift up and over on the arms, and hold one, two, three, four, five. Good. Resting, if you like, in Autonasana. Come to, you can jump or step, lie down on your back. So for those who want to keep trying or pause the video here, to try more Galavasana, write a comment below. Ask any questions you like. I'll try my best. Place your feet as close to your buttocks as you can. Root the feet into the ground to lift the hip bones, soften in the belly, lift the hips into the sky. Breathe one, two, three, four, and you can stay or Change the position by stretching the arms above your head. Stretch the belly. Feel the rooting through the big toes, bringing the inner thighs slightly 
together. So you're not dropping the knees outwards. And rolling down vertebra by vertebra. Hang legs into your chest. Two soles of your feet together, hold around the big toe, around the feet, around the toes, breathe in, breathe out, bring the feet towards your face or towards the heart. Slowly release, and we go to finishing shoulder stand, halasana, plow, in your own time, up, and hold, long deep breaths. Lengthening, imagine a straight line from your sternum through the navel, pubic area to the toes. Pull tall. Don't tighten in the neck, keep it relaxed. Slowly, if you like, take one leg at a time into Hanasana. If you feel secure in the stomach, Two legs, keep pressing the thighs away from you, for control, and into the halas. Breathe. And then lastly, Padmanapadasana, your choke. Knees come next to the ears. So Matsyasana, the fish pose. You can have the hands underneath. That makes it a little lighter for the neck. Otherwise, next to your body, palms are down. Ready to press on your elbows, lift the tummy. Open the heart, open your throat, breathe. Elbows gently come down, relax. Let's do one Jatara Paribhutanasana, a final twist. Knee, held on the knee, relax. Don't make the shoulder completely relax. Change to the other side. Shoulders completely relaxed. Hand on the knee and just 
and stay lying in Shavasana now. For the relaxation. Eyes closed. Deep breaths. Stay with the breath. To let your breath guide you deeper into yourself. They say the breath is a bridge. A bridge into yourself, into consciousness, into awareness. It's like you can ride the breath. Ride your breath into sensing your body inside. And yeah, you might already start feeling your imagination, your visualization kicking in. Journey inside your physical body. Visit the physical body. Connect to the physical body. See what it feels like not to just observe from outside, but to go in and stand next to your souls. Be next to, right next to. Go into a soul. into the nucleus of the cell. See the DNA strand, the triple helix. And choose one on the strand and go into it. Go into the DNA. You are now part of your DNA. Imagine the atom, go into the atom, see the electron moving around in the orbit, around the center. Then move deep into the center. and even deeper. Deep into the fractal. Where the past is the future. And the future
raced into timelessness, boundlessness, infinity. Turn against your thumb with a delicate caress. And give yourself in your own time a very lovely stretch. Take a moment, lie on your side in a fetal position. Thank you for joining me.